We're talking via Skype about the morning after pill with Dr. Kristen Gorelick of Obstetrics and Gynecology of the George Washington Medical Faculty Associates. Dr. Gorelick, what is the morning after pill? The morning after pill classically refers to a pill marketed under the name of Plan B One Step. Plan B One Step consists of levonorgestrel, which is a progestin hormone usually found in combined birth control pills. It consists of one pill, 1.5 milligrams, that's taken as soon as possible following an episode of unprotected sexual intercourse or birth control failure. And, and you say as soon as possible. What, what, what is the window? The FDA time? has marketed the Plan B one step as a pill that can be taken up to 72 hours following the episode of underprotected or unprotected intercourse. Although there has been some newer research that's shown that the pill can still be effective when taken up through 120 hours or five days following the event. The efficacy is higher, though, the sooner you can take the pill. Okay, so they take the pill, and then what happens? It's not uncommon for a woman to experience some side effects, which may include nausea, rare vomiting, and some abdominal cramping. There's no specific medical follow-up needed. However, if you have not, if a woman has not experienced her normal menstrual period within the expected time frame plus seven days, so if she's late on her period by more than one week, then it's recommended to take a pregnancy test because it's possible that the um, the morning after pill was unsuccessful in preventing the pregnancy, and pregnancy may have occurred. It's not 100% effective. How, how effective might it be? The Plan B One Step is up to 88% effective in preventing a pregnancy which would have otherwise occurred following an act of underprotected or unprotected intercourse. The efficacy does depend somewhat on where in the cycle a woman is, whether or not she's overweight or obese, and how soon following the act of intercourse the Plan B One Step is taken. And you mentioned you talked about the side effects. How long can the side effects last? The side effects generally last for the first um, 48 hours following the administration of the Plan B One Step, although they can persist for up to a week. Is there anybody who shouldn't take the pill? Is there... Um can you be allergic to the pill? It is possible for women to be allergic to the component in the pill, the levonorgestrel. So anyone that has a prior allergy to a combined birth control pill or a known allergy to that specific progesterone component should not take the Plan B one step. And there was, a, there was this age requirement for needing a prescription now the judge has done away with that, but is there anything that girls 16 and under need to know uh, in addition? Is it, is it different for girls 16 and under, or could it be? There is no difference for women that are 16 and younger. Um, anybody who is planning on using the Plan B One Step or other type of morning after emergency contraception should be aware that emergency contraception does not prevent sexually transmitted infections. And again, it is very effective in reducing the risk of pregnancy, but not 100%. And there is no... Uh, there has been has not been shown to be a risk of damage to a developing fetus if pregnancy does result following administration of the, the Plan B one step. What if a woman is breastfeeding? There is no contraindication to taking the progesterone while breastfeeding. This is certainly not recommended as routine birth control. That is correct. It is recommended that women who are planning on continuing to be sexually active use a much more effective um, birth control option and not rely on the Plan B for routine contraception. This does lead to an awkward question, which is how often can a woman take Plan B? There are no absolute guidelines. If a woman has had an episode of underprotected intercourse, for example, from a condom breaking or slipping or a skipped dose of a birth control pill, or there is no contraceptive used whatsoever, um, a woman who has just taken Plan B has no, there's no harm in repeating a dose of Plan B with a new unprotected or underprotected episode of intercourse.